How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Omar Thabit, and I am here, and I am live with the man, the one and only Kevin Mahomes, all right? Uh, I'm not even going to discuss who he is. I'm going to let him introduce himself, but this is the real estate agent, the, my man that helped us find our crib that we are in today, by the way. Um, shout out to my man, Kevin. He's in the building, man, but um, like I always say, Kevin, nobody wants to hear me talk. They want to hear the guests talk. So first of all, thank you for coming to the crib. Thank you for helping me find the crib. And uh, thank you for doing this interview today. Uh, but go ahead now. I'm going to let this be your time. It's your mic. Can you tell us about yourself? Well, yes. My name is Kevin Mahone. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams, Great Lakes, and St. Clair Shores, Michigan. I grew up on the east side of Detroit. We call it a black bottom on Joseph Compton and Mac. 3578 to be a Zach. <laughs> oh, he got the rhymes too. Yeah. He got the <laughs> uh, went to Frederick Douglass High School, played basketball, track and field, cross country, uh, was called back called Valedictorian of my class, graduated in ninety six, went to Alabama State University, did a couple years there, then I went to a transfer to Wayne State, then finished my degree, feel like few classes short of graduating with my um, degree in biology. I started working for the Renaissance Center in a, as a control center operator in 2005. Did that probably about 15 years. And then, you know, situation changed, forced my hand, and I started doing real estate. That's what's up, man. And I'm glad you are doing real estate because, like I mentioned before, uh, you were the one that helped us find the crib. So I appreciate that, man. So I guess that is my next question to you is what motivated you or what made you want to go into real estate? Um, passive income. You know, I started off as an investor. I bought my first house in 2004 and uh, on a street called Pelkey in Detroit. You know, um, had a child, and you know, I wanted to give him the best things in life, so I said, let me uh, give me a house. So um, in 2011, I bought another house, and I said, you know what? I had rented one house out to somebody. I'm like, man, there's this, this, this something here. So I kept on doing it. You know, you do it, it's something good, you repeat it. You keep on repeating. So that's what I did, and you know, I got, a few pop properties and you know passive income i didn't have to work a nine to five because of the passive income i'm getting getting money while i'm sleeping that's what's up man and uh i'm happy that we're doing this interview i kind of was discussing this with you earlier because anybody that can you know you know skim through this page they see that we have a real estate agent in the building and hopefully if they're ever were ever considering going into real estate you could give them some tips as well, you know what I'm saying, and give them some ideas of how it goes. One of the things he already mentioned is passive income. Um, one thing that you do that I don't know about other real estate agents do, but you do so well, is you actually put forth the effort of getting to know the people you work with. Why do you feel it's important to getting to know your clients? I mean, you know, we just over here, we just had a barbecue, we chilling. You know, I, I look at you uh, like, like one of my boys now, Kevin, you know, and at the end of the day, why do you feel it's important to uh, get to know your clients personally? Well, you know, uh, it's just like a family, you know. Uh, sometimes you can relate more to somebody that you don't know and that's not blood, and you, they love you more than your own family. So, you know, uh, why not? You know, why not uh, treat somebody just like family? You know, just like somebody in church. You know, I go to Fresh Start, church on 12 mile road off of Grossbeck and you know I'm part of different things that go on there like uh, men fellowship um, on Tuesday we have men's Bible study you know I, I do a lot of things that you know are very productive you know as far as the church you know COVID did slow things down for us you know but uh, now we have intense services so I invite anybody out to Fresh Start Church on 12 Mile. But um, yeah, I just love people in general. You know, 
I try my best to um, serve the public and uh, serve people in general, you know, helping different people. You know, that's just a part of me. So I found my niche in real, real estate. I really did. You know, it's just helping people. You know, you can't get nowhere up, where up, uh, nowhere in life unless you help somebody. You know, so God wants you to help people. You know. For sure, man. For sure. And I appreciate you sharing that. And I know I said that I have a questions. I'm going to have some questions to ask you. Um, it's kind of backtracking a little bit. So you right. are a real estate agent. Um, can you tell us why? It's like a two-part question. Can you tell us why this is a good time in the market to look for a house and to buy a house? And then can you give us some tips on a first-time home buyer that's looking to buy a house? You know, what kind of tips would you give them when looking for a house? You know, you have to get you a real good agent. You know, there's a lot of good agents out there. You know, right now it is a seller's market, but it's also a buyer market too because of um, the interest rates. But it's a seller market because there's not a lot of uh, inventory. So the inventory is probably like three months supply. So anytime the supply is below seven months, it's um, a, a seller's market. If it's over seven months, it's a buyer market. Okay, so what kind of tips? What kind of tips would you give people when looking for a new house? Like, what advice would you give them other than you know finding a good agent and stuff like that? Well, um, it just depends on your area. It, it, it depends on what, what you what you're looking for. You know, so everybody don't uh, want. Some people want to fix a up. You know, it just depends. You know, some people want a house that's already together, like. Uh, I got to help y'all get, you know, y'all got a house, it just depends on what you're looking for. It's, it really is no uh, wrong answer, it just depends on the person. Okay. You know, but uh, I would, I guess a, a few tips is look, check the roof, um, foundation, you know, the, the major um, components, the uh, furnace, hot water tank, you know, those are stuff that is very expensive. And you want to make sure that those are intact and making sure. Right. If, if not, hopefully you get a, a, a great deal on a home, you know. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, man. I appreciate that. So I know you were kind of talking about this. I kind of jumped away, but now I want to come back to it. And you were mentioning you the... <laughs> so uh, you were talking about how you are a man of faith. Um, yeah. So why do you feel faith is an important aspect in your life? Because, you know, you need... Uh, well, I needed guidance, and the only way to get it is from the, the good book. And you know, it's easy to go off the wrong, wrong path. So, you know, you gotta let God make your path. You know, you gotta read your, you read the Bible, and you need to be into the Bible. You know, just not reading, but doing as it as it say. For sure, for sure. Not just like you said, you actually actually living yeah, it. Just living it. Right? Living it. That's for sure, you know, man. Be an example for my kids, you know, I'm married, you know, got five kids, you know, got a wife, you know, uh, the man, you know, keeps the family together. Yep. Yeah. So. Most definitely, most definitely. And since you said that, I'm going to throw another question out there because it just came in my head. You got your son, Kevin Jr., sitting in the building with us too, by the way. Shout out to Kevin. I would, yeah, I would move the camera and show you, but the camera might pop off and I don't want to have to do that, Kevin. <laughs> but, uh, so... What would you want Kevin Jr. to say about Kevin Sr. if someone asked him, Kevin, what do you got to say about your, you know, what do you got to say about your father, man? And, and I, no, we don't, we don't want to ask him. I'm, I want you to say, hopefully say what you have to say. Uh, what would you want them to say about you? Well, um, that I'm a provider and that I made, uh, I mean, I wasn't the best father, you know, because it's not a book in being a parent. I made uh, poor decisions sometimes and, um, I know that, but you know, he know I love him, do whatever I can for him, you know, try to put him in the best situations. You know, uh, my son been living with me for a long time. You know, I, I take pride in that, taking care of my, my child. And uh, always tried to take him to church, you know, even when he didn't want to go. And you know, God say, if you take a child to church, you know, uh, even if he um, go the other way, he'll come back. You know, so um, try to be a role model. Most definitely. A hard worker, you know. 
Now, thank so you. Their life is not easy. You know, nobody's not going to give you anything out here. Facts, man. Thank you for sharing that. And that's the truth, man. I'm just talking to your son. I was talking to everybody. I was talking to everybody, man. So, Kevin, man, you are always a positive person when I talk to you, man. And we always had great conversations, even going through the housing process, man. You even calmed me down a couple times because, you know, me, I kind of could be impatient a little bit. So, uh, why do you feel it's important to be a positive light in people's lives, even besides the, the real estate? Part, you know, just as a person, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, uh, I mean, I've always been positive, you know, from for years and years. You know, everybody, you know, kind of look at me, you know, as the strong individual, somebody who they can lean on. But, uh, you know, uh, I guess it's just how I was raised. You know, my mom raised me to be strong. You know, my father was in and out of my life, but my mom, she was always there, you know, she took me to church, you know, I know God, you know, and you know, you gotta let your light shine, you know, I'm not perfect by no, any means, but, you know, I do try to be that light. For sure, for sure, man, and you are, man, you are, I know, I mean, you, you know, nowadays people don't like to say nice things to people, but I'm going to say it straight up, man. We on camera, Kevin. You are that light, man, and I appreciate you, man, for all the things that you do. Um, so my next question to you is what gets you up every morning? I ask this question to all my people, all my guests, and I'm going to ask you this. So what is your motivational factor? What gets you up every morning? And don't say an alarm clock, Kevin, all right, because I heard that joke already. <laughs> alarm clock don't get me up. You know, I hear alarm clock. <laughs> I don't have a 9 to 5 I make my own schedule so that's true but, that's uh, true you know family you know my uh, you know you say don't say um, uh, real estate no I didn't say that you oh, can say okay. real estate yeah, I just said oh. alarm clock oh okay yeah so uh, family you know uh, clients you know my clients like is like they always reaching out to me Maybe I, I give them too much freedom. Maybe I need to change that a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but my clients, I, I love my clients. You know, I could actually say that. They, you know, I could, uh, I talk to uh, some people, you know, all the time, you know. And then when you, you, when you talk to your clients all the time and, you know, after the, um, the process, you're like, I don't know how that person doing, you know. You know how... Um, we reached out to uh, you and your wife, your baby, and, you know, hey, come out with us, you know. Definitely, definitely, man, and, and, and I appreciate that, man. Like you said, it's like a family, man. Yeah. It's not just work. It's, all, it's like a family, for sure. Everything so think it's not about money. You know, it got to be more than just money. You yeah. Know? Yep, I agree, man, and I know you got a lot to say, man, and you kind of like... I want I'm you to say. I'm, I'm starting to get comfortable. Yeah, I know you are, and that's the problem. I'm like, man, I'm on. I got one written question, and I, I want you to say what you got to say because I know you have a lot to say, Kevin. Because you're a great dude, and I know, you know, your faith. You you have a lot of faith in you, and I don't want you to, you know, I want you to even get that out too. If you gotta say what you have to say I'm too. Glad the light not shining like <laughs> right in your eyes. Right. <laughs> All right. So my next question is, so for someone who may be walking in the same or similar footsteps as you, you know. Started off in a career, ended up not even going through with that career and getting a new career and actually saying that you now, this is your niche, this is what you love doing. What advice would you give them? Motivate me. Well, really, is this, and I'm just being real. Let God direct your path, you know, and that's what it's about. Letting God direct your path. Pray about it. You know, ask God, what should you be doing? You know, I had to really do that. You know, I, I done changed up my major. I, I done did a, a few different things. You know, um, first I wanted to be uh, a police officer. Then I wanted to, uh, well, besides uh, getting my degree in biology. Um, I was struggling with that math a little bit. I said, man, I better uh, do something else. I better do business. <laughs> <laughs> Ran back into that math. I'm just being real, you know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, um, with the houses and everything else, you know, I'm just happy to, you know, just be doing what I'm doing now. You know, uh, working with people, you know, uh, love my clients, like I said, like I said, and um, 
Really, I forgot what you had. Yeah, so ba- yeah, I, I kind of had a feeling that she was going. But you mentioned it before. I was, what the question was is, what advice would you give somebody? And you said, let yeah, God. Especially, yeah, let God direct your path. Yeah. Okay. Any other advice? Like somebody I want to go in real estate, what advice would you give them? Well, you know, you want to go into real estate, um, YouTube. YouTube got a lot of different stuff, um, podcasts and stuff, whatever you want to um, do, look it up on YouTube, you know, I did that a lot of different um, times, you know, um, like I said, I, I done bought houses and stuff like that, fixed on them, you know, doing little projects and listen to different podcasts to, you know, uh, educate myself, or, you know, how to be a better realtor, um, flipper, or, or whatever. Yeah. So this is like a, I don't want to know, I mean, if it's, if it's personal, then you don't have to answer it. But my question to you is, uh, do real estate agents get paid like salary and then on top of the commission or is it just commission? Like, how does that work with real estate it's agents? Oh, uh, just commission? Yeah. Okay. I was just, okay. I'll you pay like 3% unless okay. you get both sides of the deal then like 6%. But I guess it depends. Um, well, you know what? Well, you did say real estate agents cause you know, um, it may be some um, staff that get paid salary. Okay. You know, but real estate agent usually is commission based. Okay. I believe ten ninety nine. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. All right. Well, my last, well, that was the last written question, but the question I usually ask the guests is, is there anything else that you want to say out there? Anything you want to share? Anything you want to mention? I mean, I know there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world, so, you know, this is your chance to say what you have to say, you know, give advice out there for people. With whatever that's going on in the world, man. Anything, man. Life is short. Love on your family. You know, that's that's basically the only thing I have to say. You know, uh, do not promise tomorrow. You know, get to know God. And just find something you love to do. You know, and uh, feed your family. There we go. Kevin Mahomes, I told you it go by quick, man. It go by quick. Uh, this is another interview on Motivate Me 313. Omar Davit, Kevin Mahomes, man. I appreciate you coming to the crib and doing this interview. Hey, Mahomes. Mahomes. It's, it's, I, I, it's Mahomes, man. Hey, Mahomes. You got to hit it like that. Hey, you know, it's more catchy, man. You got to do a commercial, man. I'll do the commercial for you. <laughs> yep, all day. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day.